everybody. Now let's show you how to recover lost data from one detached hard drive with both physical head issue and firmware issue. Now let's enter the Hitachi firmware repair program. Power on the hard drive. According to our diagnosis, the head zero is damaged and very weak. However, the drive can get ready. We can enter the program, select the family. We can, if we click get details, we get nothing. The ID is not detected. We can select the family manually. And then uh, we need to change the head map because the head zero is damaged. So we can use PCB mode, check tech key, and enter the software. Okay, so it's MVRAM read success. We need to edit the head map. The head zero is damaged, so we need to change to zero one. Zero one zero one these two heads. Zero 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 one. Now we replace the zero zero with zero one. Click OK, save the NVRAM. So NVRAM write success. Now we need to create create the program. So at this time the module list is not accessed. So we need to power off and power on and check again. Now we have only head one left. So at this time we can uh, click attach ARM. We can select a family 545087. Click OK. Check tech key and then click OK. Enter the software. Reading and they ran. Right now it has only head one left. Read thinner. We need to go back and try again. Model directory read thinner. This means the model list will be empty. So we need to create. The moment the program is still running. Initial compliance. Okay. Now the module list is available. At this time, we need to back up the modules. For Hitachi firmware modules, there are only uh, four modules which are important for data recovery. First is the pinist. This is copy one. Because the head zero is turned off, so we can only back up the copy one. Copy one and this copy one two. SRM copy one two. We can back up these four modules and then it's enough. We can stop. Uh, let's see. We can create a program, soft reset, and let's see. Easy. So we can power off, power on, and check again. If you're busy, you cannot read the modules. So we need to wait until the drive gets ready. We have turned off head zero, remember. So it has only head one left.
I just feel the hard drive is spinning smoothly. No clinking, so it is good. We just need to wait. Enter the program. Okay, so it's ready now. Select 545087 and shift tab key. Yes, so only RAM read success. Tab 2, module director read success. Module open, node loading success. Now let's try to back up the modules again. Remember, only the um, had the copy one, copy one, and copy one. This is password module. P list, G list, zone, and SRVM zone. Okay, back up. Now we can see the modules start to be backed up. We just need to wait until your firmware module backup completes. Okay, P list is backup. G list, we can see all copy one. If you select copy zero, you will fail. So after we back up the firmware modules, we can back up the NVRAM. Okay. I already back up. Back up the ROM. Okay. I back up it too. So now let's uh, try to finish the case by fixing the firmware issue. We have turned off the head zero. Now we need to fix the firmware issue. How? We need to come to general functions, come repair. Okay. Sector access problem. We can load from file. Load from file one. We need to select the playlist. Copy one. All files. Playlist. Load from file. Okay. We have backup this playlist. Then load it. Click OK to load. Okay, so you can see that um, the playlist is loaded into the RAM now. After this repair completes, we fix the firmware issue. So let's wait until it completes. <coughs> so we are fixing the firmware damage. We have turned off the head zero, and we are fixing the translator damage. Okay, so it's uh, complete. The firmware fixing has complete. We can create the program and re-enter the program and see. Get details, okay. Now we can see the hard drive ID will be detected well. Let's wait, see? Hard drive ID, serial number, family name, firmware, capacity. So all of these are correct now. Now let's go to the DFL, DDP data recovery module. We don't need to close this window and we can open the DDP by this way. Open file location. DDP SATA1. It's SATA1, okay? Here is SATA1. Now we click OK, Archived. Okay. So at this time, we can set up one new, uh, new project for disk image. Next step, disk image. Next step, image to file. We can also image it to VHD. Uh, disk image. And next, okay, HDID cannot be read. 
So at this time, this is a translator issue. The here is one uh, run virtual translator node from file. Select one. Copy one. Copy one. Okay, let's try to fix it again. Let me see. Open up. Let's try to check. We can uh, it's running. So at this time, we need to fix the firmware issue again. General menu, detach. Five five four five zero seven. Note from file. Okay, let's try to fix it again. Note to playlist. Okay, so let's set up the window SATA one. New project. Let's try it again. Yes. Target disk image to file. Okay. See, so the ID and the capacity uh, has been detected well. Now we can set up head map. Detach ARM set up head map. Now it's we will use selective head image to image the head. One because head zero has been turned off. We can see starting selective head image. This is one very bad drive with many bad sectors. So they will use soft reset, hard reset, and power reset maybe. So for this kind of reset, it will cause the hard drive go back to the 40 status. So we need to use the auto virtual translator after selective head image. I will show you how to use that to make sure the drive is imaged correctly and smoothly. Now it's setting up the head map. Still running. Okay, here is a processing bar. Users can check the processing bar and continue. Okay, so we just need to wait and see if we can get data of this drive <coughs> without head swap. 88% okay so it's important for users to check the log windows this is not <coughs> window and then users will learn what is happening with the drive what the software is doing operating on the drive okay so the selective head image the head map is set and we can see there are two heads but remember we have turned off head zero so we need to here we don't we cannot image head zero we can try if we image head zero you will get problem we can only image head one and here we need to use the auto virtual translator otherwise you the hard drive will return to 40 status. You cannot image. So we need to load from file, select one, and then select the playlist. We have backup. Click OK. At this time, we can click Start. Then we image only head one. 
so we can image the head one data successfully to the target drive. So this is the way how we fix the Hitach 40 hard drives with both head damage and also firmware damage. I hope all Dolphin users can learn how to use this method. It's very helpful. Thank you for watching this video.